Uh, thanks to Darius Clark and I-75 for helping me pass far with an 85 on my first try. Um, couldn't have done it without it. All right, one of the most popular questions on the FAR exam is a cash basis to accrual basis question. It could be about cash basis to accrual revenue, cash basis to accrual expense, or cash basis to accrual net income. So we're going to zero in today here on cash basis to accrual expenses, particularly prepaid expenses. How much was paid in the current year versus how much is incurred in the current year. So if we're talking prepaid expenses, they're current assets, and they include prepaid insurance, prepaid rent, and these current assets are paid in advance, but the expense is deferred. So let's say on May 1st of the current year, we prepay an annual insurance policy for $1,200. Debit prepaid insurance, credit cash, $1,200. Notice they're both current assets. There's no expense recognition yet because this prepaid insurance account represents the fact that this is a 12-month policy and we're going to pay it in cash but we're not going to recognize any expense on May 1st we're going to defer the expense the expense will be recognized at the end of the period with an adjustment so at December 31st eight months have expired we'll debit insurance expense 800 we'll credit prepaid insurance 800 so notice for the year we might have paid 1200 for insurance but we're only going to have incurred 800 of expense. So for the current year, your cash basis insurance expense is $1,200, but your accrual basis insurance expense is only $800. Notice that insurance expires at a rate of $100 a month here because the $1,200 that we spent was for an annual policy, a one-year policy, which means $1,200 divided by 12 months is $100 a month. So when we decided that eight months expired on December 31st. That's why we debited insurance expense for 800 and credited prepaid insurance for 800. And we recognized $800 of accrual basis expense. And when we look at the T account, 1200 was the beginning balance of the prepaid insurance. But by the time we got to the year end and we adjusted 800 and we credited the prepaid insurance for 800, the ending balance of prepaid insurance is only $400, but this $400 ending balance of prepaid insurance represents what was paid this year and will be incurred as an expense next year. And that's why the cash basis expense might have been $1,200, but the accrual basis expense is only $800 because this $400 ending balance of prepaid insurance represents what was paid this year but will be incurred next year as an expense. That's the $400 ending balance of the prepaid insurance. And what they're likely to do with prepaid expenses is tell you how much was paid during the year and you'll have to determine how much was incurred. So let's take a look at a question like that. If 10000 was paid for insurance in the current period and prepaid insurance began the year at 400 and ended the year at 1600 how much is accrual basis insurance expense? So we said 10000 was paid for insurance during the period. Prepaid insurance, the current asset, began the year at 400 and ended the year at 1600 Well, then accrual basis insurance expense, we could calculate by saying 10000 was paid during the year. The beginning balance of prepaid insurance represents the amount of expense paid last year incurred as an expense this year so we'll add 400 to what was paid this year and so far our expense incurred would be 10,400 then the ending prepaid insurance amount they gave us 1600 that was paid this year and won't be incurred until next year so subtract 1600 and your accrual basis insurance expense is 8800 letter B. All right, notice what happened. Prepaid insurance, the prepaid expense account went up. Went up from 400 to 1600. So as a result of prepaids going up, it means that you spent more for your insurance than you incurred this year. 
you spent 10,000 but you only incurred 8,800 because when prepaid insurance goes up for the year it means you paid more than what was incurred so by starting at 400 and ending at 1600 you paid 1200 more for insurance than what was incurred as an expense so if you paid 10,000 then what was incurred was only 8800 we said the beginning balance of prepaid insurance the 400 was paid last year incurred this year so add 400 we're up to 10,400 the ending prepaid insurance of 1600 that was paid this year but it won't be incurred until next year so subtract 1600 and accrual basis insurance expense is 8800 now we're going to look at what happens when the prepaid expense account goes down falls for the year so 10,000 was paid for insurance and look what they tell us prepaid insurance began the year at 1400 ended the year at 300 how much is accrual basis insurance expense so this time prepaid insurance fell by 1100 so we're going to analyze the beginning and ending balance 10,000 was paid during the year they told us that the beginning prepaid insurance of 1400 when was that paid when was that incurred that's the amount paid last year the beginning prepaid insurance of 1400 was paid last year incurred this year so add 1400 we're up to 11,400 the ending prepaid insurance of 300 was paid this year incurred next year so subtract 300 because that hasn't been incurred yet and accrual basis insurance expense is 11,100 answer choice a so notice which way is the prepaid expense account going it's going down it's going down from 1400 to 300 and that means that you incurred more expense for insurance this year compared to what was paid this year so when the prepaid expense drops for the year that means you incurred more expense this year than you paid let's try another one if 10,000 was paid in cash for expenses and prepaid expenses began the year at 500 and ended the year at 1500 how much are accrual basis expenses all right you paid 10,000 in cash prepaid expenses began the year at 500 what is that 500 of prepaid expenses that's what you paid last year that's last year's ending prepaid expense this year's beginning balance was paid last year it'll be incurred this year so add the 500 we're up to 10,500 and then the 1500 the ending balance this year the ending prepaid expense of 1500 that was paid this year but won't be incurred until next year so subtract 1500 and accrual basis expenses are nine thousand dollars so you paid ten thousand but you only incurred nine thousand of expense this year letter d is the answer notice which way is the prepaid expenses going it's going up from 500 to 1500 and when prepaid expenses goes up it means that you paid more this year than what was incurred as an expense this year it means that cash basis expenses were higher than accrual basis expenses whenever the prepaid expenses goes up for the year it means that the cash basis expense is higher than the accrual basis expense so let's review prepaid expenses if the exam gives you cash basis expenses and asks you for accrual basis expenses and there's a change in the prepaid expense well if prepaid expense increases for the year then more expenses paid than incurred that means cash basis expense will be higher than accrual basis expense but if prepaid expenses decrease for the year then more expenses incurred than paid this year good so far okay but what if they start you off with something else instead of starting you off with cash basis expense and ask you for accrual basis expense what if they start you off with cash basis net income and ask you for accrual basis net income and there's a change in prepaid expenses what then all right watch carefully the difference in the facts this time it says if cash basis net income was a hundred thousand it doesn't say cash basis expenses 
It says if cash basis net income was 100,000 and prepaid expenses began the year at 6,000 and ended the year at 16,000, how much is accrual basis net income? So they don't want the expense, they want net income. So cash basis net income is given 100,000. What is cash basis net income? It's cash collected minus cash paid. That's cash basis net income. So what was collected in cash minus what was paid out in cash is 100,000. That's cash basis net income. Once again, they give you the beginning and ending balance of prepaid expenses. The beginning balance of prepaid expenses represent what was paid last year, incurred this year. So subtract 6,000 from cash basis net income because you have another 6,000 of expenses incurred this year. The beginning balance of prepaid expenses is going to be incurred this year. So you're going to have to subtract 6,000 from cash basis net income. You're down to 94,000 so far for accrual basis net income. Now ending prepaid expenses of 16,000 are paid this year, incurred next year, right? The ending balance of prepaid insurance that was paid this year, but that's not incurred until next year. But since it was paid this year, it was subtracted the 16,000 to arrive at the 100,000 cash basis net income. The 16,000 was subtracted when it was paid to arrive at cash basis net income of 100,000. So add back the 16,000 because it's not this year's expense, it's next year's expense. So add back 16,000 and accrual basis net income is 110,000, which is letter A. This is clearly a tougher question than if they were asking you from cash basis expenses to accrual basis expenses, because they're asking you from cash basis net income to accrual basis net income, and then they give you the change in the prepaid expense account. The beginning prepaid expenses balance, that was paid last year, that's the 6,000, incurred this year, and that wasn't already subtracted to arrive at 100,000, so you're gonna have to take the 6,000 away from the 100. And then the 16,000, the ending prepaid expense, that was paid this year, so it was subtracted to arrive at the 100,000 of cash basis net income, but that really is not incurred this year. It's not incurred until next year. So if you want accrual basis net income, add back the 16,000, and accrual basis net income is 110,000. So in these cash basis to accrual basis questions, it's very important to know where your starting point is and what they're asking you for. So in a question like the one we just did, the starting point is cash basis net income, and they're asking you for accrual basis net income. In the questions we did earlier, the starting point was cash basis expenses, and they asked you for accrual basis expenses. Different approach. Let's do one more. If cash basis net income was 100,000 and prepaid expenses began the year at 17 and ended the year at four, how much is accrual basis net income? So very important to know, where are we beginning here? We're starting with cash basis net income. And what do we want? Accrual basis net income. So 100,000 represents what was collected minus what was paid this year. Prepaid expenses started the year at 17,000. That means what? That 17,000 was paid last year, incurred this year. That 17,000 is this year's accrual basis expense. So you're gonna have to subtract 17 from the 100,000. And we're down to 83,000 so far in accrual basis net income. But then there's ending prepaid expenses of 4,000. What do we do with that? That represents what was paid this year and will be incurred next year. So since it wasn't incurred yet, but it was subtracted to arrive at the 100,000, we're going to add back the 4,000, and 87,000 is gonna be our accrual basis net income, which is letter C. Hi, Darius. I wanted to personally thank you for my scores of 88 and 92 in audit and fire respectively. Uh, it could not have been possible without your amazing lectures, especially audit. Thank you so much. Thank you.